What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Montreal Diecast Cafe, everybody. And we got a ton of stuff. Now, we're not going to check out everything tonight, but I'll be honest with you, Walmarts here in Quebec have just been flooded with Hot Wheels, guys. Uh, it's quite nice to see, actually, because, I mean, they flooded the stores with the new Modern Classics. We have the new Boulevards out already, and we have the new Fast and Furious out already. And it's quite amazing that I've got a set of each here in front of me. And also, a couple RLCs have arrived as well. Uh, the Acura, the uh, Power Wagon Christmas Edition. Uh, I've got a ton of stuff, guys. But we're going to break the videos down into a couple of videos, because I think maybe these sets deserve... To have their own videos. These are some pretty cool looking sets. And uh, well I mean Modern Classics. Which we're actually going to take a look at tonight. Is the third installment from Car Culture of the Modern Classics series I believe. Okay. Since the, uh, since the release time. We've seen it three times. And each set is really, really cool. And this one is definitely no slouch. It brings a couple of uh, new castings. And, uh, well, I mean, it's just an extremely cool set, I find. Starting here with number five. We do have the 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Second release in premium. And this one looking pretty cool in its British racing green color. Looks really, really awesome. And like I said, it is only the second release of this car, which is really quite, quite nice to see. Number four is a brand new casting. And I think a lot of people have mixed feelings about this one. I think it's going to be awesome. I mean, it does have the wide body kit on it, but I mean, that's what they had back then. It's just a really cool looking car. And I think they chose a great color for it. And it is the Volkswagen Corrado VR6. I've been stoked about this casting to come out. And I don't think it's going to disappoint. Next one is the Fiat 131 Abarth. And I thought we did see this casting already in premium. And I'm looking on my wall and I don't see it. So it's a little bit of a surprise to me. And I really did think it came out already. Or maybe I'm just missing something in car culture, which I'm not really supposed to be. But anyways, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's a brand new casting. And here it is. It looks pretty awesome as well. And number two. We have the 98 Toyota Altiza looking really awesome as well in this silver. And this one, I think is the first release as well. I think this is the first release. It doesn't look exactly like the Chaser. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this as being a brand new casting as well, guys. All right. And in silver, why not? Looks awesome. So, so far, this set's looking pretty strong. Now, a number one car here is obviously a car that people go crazy for. And it is the Honda Civic EG in spoon livery. Looking very cool. This guy is extremely hard to find on the pegs. This one seems to be the one from the set that got swallowed up really quick. And it's like that with any set that the Honda Civic comes in. So this one, we have now three releases. This is the fourth release. And the second time we see it in yellow. Except that this one, the difference is that we have the shade of blue in the front. So it splits it up a bit. Very strong set, guys. Very, very strong set. And I say we crack them all open and check it out. I was going to mix this set up with the uh, boulevards, but like I said, I think this one should be treated on its own. So let's set up that trusty turntable and let's dig straight into these 
awesome, awesome modern classics set. There we go, everyone. We're going to start off from number one and go straight up. This is the Honda Civic EG in spoon livery. There is the information on the back if anybody needs it. Star Wars version. Here we are. Just kidding. Let's open this guy up. This year, guys, it looks like it is going to be a very, very strong year for Hobbyists. It looks like there's some just crazy stuff coming up. And including this RLC Acura Integra Type R, guys, that I just got in the mail. I'm dying to show it off. It will be probably in the next video. And there she is. I mean, this one is sweet. This is a gorgeous little Civic. In spoon livery looks amazing. And as I said, I'm glad that they did it in this two-tone because I'll tell you, we've already had this car in yellow. So this, with the blue splash, just separates it from the other, which is amazing. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous little car. But, like I said, it is the fourth release, guys. So, looking cool. And it's still getting swallowed off the pegs. Is that a flea bite? That is a flea bite already on the back. I don't believe it, though. Yeah, that's a flea bite on the back already. Okay. Lucky I don't really stress on these things. I love this one. This one looks good. Okay, number two. And it is the 98 Toyota Altiza. Looking amazing. I was very stoked about this car to come out. Very, very stoked. So, will it meet expectations? Sure will. Oh, that looks good. This one looks pretty good. Like the color. I like everything about this, actually. This gray five star mags are perfect choice for the car. Side mirrors, which is awesome. Beautifully done front. That is sweet. Honestly, it's a very, very good looking car, this one. And it meets my expectations, which is awesome. Now, I know a lot of people are going to complain. Well, I don't know how many people. But some people do complain about the tampos, that they're not uh, as clear as they used to be. And it's a very legit argument, because Hot Wheels has proven in the past that their deco can be very, very tight and crisp. And they've just been getting a little bit sloppy on it. That I agree. But still looking pretty awesome. Gorgeous, gorgeous metallic flake. Number three, we have the Fiat 131 Abarth. And this is a pretty cool looking casting. And in my books, I think it's brand new. As I said, I don't see it in my collection. And I've got pretty much most of the premium, I would say. I've got all the car culture anyway. So, I mean, it should, if I've been released already, I should have it. So, I'm going to go with first time release of this car. And awesome. Awesome. Looking really, really cool. They did use the small wheels that they usually do on these smaller cars, but that is really cool. Love the color combo. Black and red always looks good. You've got the gold rims, which look great on this. Execution of the casting is very, very nice. Flared out wheel wells. I mean, that, that is really cool looking. And I'll be honest with you, this seems to be the one that I see left on the pegs, which really surprises me. You know, maybe it is the weaker one out of the whole set, but this car is gorgeous. You can never leave this one on the pegs. Never, never. 
just too sweet. Interior looks actually pretty well done in this thing. You can't see it on camera. It's too dark. But it actually is pretty done, uh, done pretty nicely. That is a very cool looking car. Okay, now the one I'm excited about opening, and it is the Volkswagen Corrado VR6, number four out of the set. I'm very excited about opening this one because, as I said, there are mixed feelings about this. People don't like the flared-out wheel wells and think it should have been more stock. A lot of people don't really care for the color. Well, you know, there's going to be people picky on everything. So, let's crack it open and judge it as it should be judged out of its package not in it because cars always look better out of their packages and it may change your mind and i'll be honest with you to me it looks pretty awesome i mean that color looks really nice you got the open sunroof you do have the wide wheel wells, but I think it looks amazing on this car. I think this car was pretty well executed. Great 10 spokes. Tempos look good. Side mirrors, side markers. Front end is well executed. I mean, that's a pretty good looking car. And I got somebody tapping on the floor upstairs. I don't know why. That is cool. Honestly, in my book, it looks pretty cool. And, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. It might be off a touch scale-wise. Um, maybe the back is a little bit too close to the wheels. I'm not sure. There, there might be a little but something that doesn't have this car's silhouette perfect but it is a first time execution for Hot Wheels so it's really really good in my books as a first time execution but there may be tweaks coming to this car there may be a few tweaks because it does kind of have that CRX silhouette instead of the Corrado but not by much not my much. It still looks Corrado to me. And this color is fantastic. That is really pretty. Okay, the last one on the list, guys. And it is the second release of this car. First time released was in red, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was in red. So now we have it in this gorgeous, gorgeous well, British Racing Green, it looks like. With the tan interior. They, I think they did this one really, really, very correct. The Mazda Miata M MX-5. Looking really, really sweet, everybody. They did wrap it, which is really, oh, this color is even nicer out of the package, everyone. This is pretty cool. That is a beautiful, beautiful green. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful green. That is looking really sweet. They're topping upstairs again. My wife trying to be quiet. Right. Look at that. How beautiful. That is simply amazing. Excellent, excellent execution of this casting. Excellent. Just needs a little bit more work on the interior. If they're going to cut out a few holes in that interior just a little bit, it would have made a huge difference. 
But then I'd be asking too much, I think. Anyways, everybody, there you have it. Brand new Modern Classics. In my opinion, very strong set. Looking really good. I don't believe there's any weak link in this set. And you guys may argue with me on it, but very, very strong set. And just goes to show that I think we have a lot of good stuff to look forward to from Mattel this year. Till next time, everybody. Be safe, be well. Happy hunting. And please, smash that subscribe button, guys. Ciao.